hello. Today I will be doing a video on how to clean your Pandora jewelry. This is the first bracelet. I had cleaned it earlier in the week, but I did not take the charms off individually. Here's my second bracelet that I'm going to be uh, cleaning. I had been wearing it for like about a week and a half and it had gotten so filthy. It's a box I keep it in. And um, I kind of thought that these boxes would really keep them um, clean, but that's not, uh, or tarnish free, or freer. And just a few days wearing it, I guess because I really didn't clean it prior, they got really, really, um, really, really dirty. So, so I'm going to try the first time I cleaned them and didn't take the charms off of the bracelet. Um, they got much cleaner. I even had tried to clean them in a sterling silver solution and I was really surprised that they didn't really clean up too bad. I mean, too good. So this time I really want to give it a deep cleaning. I'm going to be trying a method that I've seen on several different channels and I'm going to be using aluminum foil, some salt, some baking soda, and some warm water. And um, if you're interested, stay with me. Okay, so I have retrieved my uh, glass bowl out of the microwave. I warmed the water up for a minute. I didn't want it too hot. And so I'm going to, I forgot to tell you, or to show you my aluminum foil. Here's my aluminum foil. I'm going to be using it the shiny, shiny side in. I don't really think it makes that much of a difference. Okay, I'm back with my um, old brush. And I'm going to start cleaning them individually to see how much gook and grime I can get off of them. Now, some people who are kind of leery about this method, maybe just try one or two items at a time to see whether or not you feel comfortable uh, with your item being cleaned this way. Because again, um, the best thing would be to clean them real good and do what I'm doing with your toothbrush and getting them as getting into those little places that um, you can't get first with a cleaning cloth. And just look at that shine. I hope that the camera is really getting the shine. It's wearing jewelry, especially good jewelry, and especially when it's clean, is such a thrill. Because again, you could just leave it in there to just keep sitting, but sometimes they're just things dirt that has gotten deep seated in your jewelry and now i'm going to i don't have my clean water out here let me go get some i'll be right back okay so i have my warm clean water and i'm going to grab this charm again i'm going to put it in the water And you can even see after even putting it in there, uh, the stuff that was still coming off of it. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out. And I'm going to give it a 
just dry it off for a minute. Okay. And that's what it's looking like now. So after I do that, what I will be doing is I will be taking a polishing cloth and then I will um, polish it up. So all the ones that I'm cleaning and they're clean, I'll put them over there. And I will just continue taking one item. It is time consuming. So this is something that you don't want to rush through but it is beneficial to do that. And in fact, um, you may just want to leave your items in the clean water until you've cleaned most of them or all of them, and then keep rinsing them until you're sure you have all the soap and any uh, debris that may be on them cleaned. Trying to focus. Okay. Let's see how that looks in the water. Okay. I'm going to take this one out. And I'm going, in fact, I'm going to take the other one and put it back in here and let it continue to soak in case there are any more. And even with uh, items that have crystals, be careful not to rub too hard. You do want to get them clean, but don't um, rub too hard that you may dislodge some of your stones. Okay, so we're going to continue with that. I'm going to put this one back in here and I'm going to put this one back in here. And I'm going to, um, oh, look at that. This is why you need to really clean your stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pour this water out, get some more clean water, and finish cleaning the rest of them. Hold on. Oh, until I come back and finish, I'll come back. Okay, so I'm in the process of... Um, taking out the ones that are cleaned by the toothbrush and put them in clean water. And I just want to bring it in closer to see how dirty this water is getting. So, again, I'm individually, I'm trying to get you a closer look at what I'm doing. Okay. And so again, I'm continuing to um, brush them, not too hard, but putting enough behind it to try to get into the crevices of the item so I would recommend that if you're going to do this that you have to choose a day and time when you're not um, you're not in a hurry to get it done now I have the two braces I do have other charms that I don't uh, wear I haven't switched out this the charms to these bracelets for a while. So it gives me an opportunity to redesign uh, those, these items, these bangles, I mean, I'm sorry, these bracelets. And again, it is time, it's very time consuming. You wanna do a good job. And again, um, this is gonna be my first rinse of these charms. I have taken the actual bracelet out and I had to like 
go in there and really deeply put a little force behind it to try to clean up certain spots on it. I find that uh, I do especially like the ones with the crystals, but of course, again, you want to clean, but you don't want to use too much force that's going to cause any crystals to come out. Uh, here's a rose gold piece. And you can see them, you know, coming up and you can see that some of the dirt, the dirt has been coming off. And uh, they do look so much better uh, than what they looked before. And I was just thinking that when you wear these bracelets, and I don't know about you, but I, I'm, I'm busy. And so to actually have to take them off every night uh, before going to bed or going to take my shower or my bath. Uh, I know a lot of times I'm lazy and in my mind, I don't know why I thought that being in a tub or a shower would cause them to get clean when, especially if you're using some kind of uh, sulfate, some kind of soap, uh, that stuff, that scum gets on your bracelet. And sometimes I know I didn't think of, really think about it. I think... Oh, okay. This will help the stones get a little bit shiny. It's, you know, soap. And to my dismaze, uh, dismaze, uh, I realized, nah, that's not helping. Uh, it would be nice, but you really should take your jewelry off all jewelry. I know I sleep in a lot of my jewelry, but it really isn't the best thing to do when you are... When you have good pieces, especially good pieces, you really should not sleep in your jewelry. And again, the reason why most of us do it is because of the convenience. It's, you don't want to have to keep uh, storing it away overnight or putting it away. Then you got to get up in the morning if you're in a rush, you're running late. And then you have to, like I said, especially with mine, with my nails, it's difficult for me to get mine on. And when my husband's not here... Um, <laughs> I'm struggling. So, and it can be a little bit frustrating trying to get them on and, and trying to even get them True. off. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up. And when I'm about to take my first rinse, I will let you see what they look like inside. And again, as you can see, the water is, is dirty. And I believe a lot of it is soap scum because between washing dishes all the time and between the showers and taking baths. I try not to use, especially my, uh, I do a lot of gardening, so I do, uh, I will keep them off. Like I, this is one of the reasons why now I can clean it because I will be in the garden for the next few days. I have um, other things to do. And so I took it off. So this allowed me to have an opportunity to actually clean them. And clean them real good because they really do need to be cleaned real good. Uh, I would also suggest if you get, I know I, lo I love my little boxes from Pandora, but I'm thinking about storing them now in an anti-tarnishing bag of some sort to help alleviate me from having uh, to, to do this. And the, another option also is to take your bracelets to the Pandora store near you and they will usually, you need to contact them sometimes ahead to see whether or not you need to schedule an appointment or you can just walk in and they will clean it for you. And I've heard very good results. So um, a lot of times, you know, I know the Pandora for me is a distance away. And so I'd rather try to clean them than to run out, get dressed and run out to the store. Okay, so when I get ready to do my first rinse, I will come back on and then I will place them on a towel so that they can air dry. And then after that, I may not complete that on this video, but I will um, get a polishing cloth. 
and start shining them up. I won't be putting the bracelets back together today. Um, I really like to think what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use, and how I'm going to use the um, charms that I have. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm taking out the aluminum foil um, to let you see the water. And as you can see, there's little speckles and and the water is just revealing all the yucky, yuck, yuck, yuck stuff that was on the charms and our bracelets. Here are all my charms and they look so much happier. Right. And so I'm going to rinse this out rinse my bowl out and put clean water in the larger bowl to give the charms more room. Okay. Okay, so I filled up my larger bowl with some clean water and I am letting, uh, getting rid of the water that was in the smaller bowl. And now I'm pouring them in there to give them a little bit more room. I'm going to switch them around to give them some room. Okay. So I'm letting them, I'm just looking to see if the charms came out all right. Okay, you can see the crystals are crystallizing and are beautiful. Okay, I'm just trying to see and make sure that there wasn't any other damage or any damage done to any of them. And so far, so good. Okay, so here are my charms after I've done my fourth and final rinse. And I'm getting ready to take them and uh, put them on a cloth preferably a um, lint-free, um, just to get them out of the water so they can dry off. Okay, so here are some of the charms after they have been rinsed several times, after I have used the combination of baking soda, salt, aluminum foil, and Dawn dish detergent. I mean, they're like saying, hello, thank you. They're looking refreshed. And some of them are just really shining. I mean, it's like a night and day difference in them. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to let them dry. Okay, I'm going to let these dry and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of this video for this time. So, um, I think you should polish them up before you put them back on. And um, I believe that the more that you do this, the more that you polish them, that it will help them to maintain a little better, as with most things. So, it's, it's coming up. It needs to be polished and shined. So overall, I think it was a win. Okay. And here are the really bracelets, very shiny. It just lets you to know um, if you buy quality things, even when they get dirty, if it's quality, what will happen? It may take a little work 
to get it shined back up, but it will be restored. And that's why you buy quality. Okay, so my final thoughts about this process is it was something that was well needed. I'm glad that I took the time to do it, but you must know that you really should only do this when you have the time to do it because it is time consuming. And if you're in a rush to do it, you can really frustrate yourself. Let me see if I can put it down. I'm working on another charm. I mean, you really can um, get frustrated. And again, I have a lot of charms. I don't even know how many I had on the bracelets, between the two bracelets. But um, I have not only um, Pandora charms, I also have uh, K Jewelers. Their uh, charm bracelets, I got about three or four of those. And I also have troll beads. I love my troll beads. And I found even with them that they were about the easiest to keep clean. I mean, to take a cloth, and I guess I think that's probably the reason why I bought this first cloth. Um, when I did them, the, the quality of the sterling is so good until it takes almost little to nothing to keep that bracelet clean. And in fact, I'll do a video on that if people are interested on my troll beads. But I do find that the Pandora, as far as maintaining, is more high maintenance than uh, the other bracelets, charm bracelets. I'm sorry if you can't really see it. I'm trying to get it as clear as I can. And um, so they're drying. Some of them aren't quite dry, uh, but I do like um, getting the water off of them before. I don't like the water to sit on them for, for so long, especially if they're not drying quickly. I'd rather just give it a first drying off and then come back and finish them off. But again, I, I really just need another cloth. This one is, I think, well used. And it needs to be. I love the charms. However, again, like I said, I believe that their charms are a little bit more um, high maintenance than my troll. So my overall impression of this procedure is um, if you don't have time to take it to Pandora to have them clean, and also you can put them in a um, ultrasonic. I just find that for me, the ultrasonic just does not do the type of cleaning that I desire. So I prefer this method. And um, when I put them back together, I come back on and I'll show you what they look so like. I thank you for uh, visiting me. I thank you for clicking on my video. I ask that you please subscribe. Um, hit the notification button and um, I'm trying to get a better setup so that I can make my videos a little bit more smoother. But it takes a lot of time and energy to make these uh, videos to uh, give you good content. And um, it was just something that I was getting ready to do. And I just figured that maybe other people would be interested in finding out um if they have not tried this method, how does it work? And um, it may also serve as a deterrent for some people who um, simply will not want to chant their um, charms to this type of a method. I do know that some people just use the warm water and Dawn as a cleaning solution. And that works until next time. Thank you again for coming, stopping by. Please subscribe. Again, please hit the notification, hit that bell button, and uh, share this video if you've gotten something out of it. Thank you so much, and until next time, goodbye. Hi, I'm Lady Somerset, and I'm here to introduce you to my platforms 
where I sell jewelry and clothing. My business is called Closeted Desires. I love accessories. I love clothes. I just love dressing up. And I just love finding the style that fits me. You can find me on Poshmark.com. You can find me on Etsy, Macari, and eBay. And I just wanted to show you a few of the items that are in my shop. And if they're not in there, they've already sold. But I just wanted to make this short video so that you can stop by, browse around, and buy something. In Poshmark, you'll get $10 off with my code on your first purchase. And I'll get $10 when you buy your first item. So, thank you for stopping by and stop by my shops. And I hope you can find something that you will love and just can't live without. These items will make great gifts and there's some of them are things that I've had and I just have an overload and I would like for them to have a new home, find someone who would love them as much as I had loved them. So thank you for stopping by. Stop by my shop, looking forward to seeing you. Until next time.